Annyeong! Welcome to my channel. I'm classical pianist Jiun Kim. I actually took a several weeks off from YouTube. It has been almost a year and a month or so since I started this channel and you know I find it's always healthy to find the right balance of pushing it and also take a break so um, especially this time that I could not travel back to home and you know um, and at the end of the year and holiday seasons and I took some time off and um, I'm back <laughs> and also about this time I always tend to have some kind of uh, reflection of the whole year oftentimes that takes place uh, in a plane from Korea to America or America to Korea you know long flight of plane that's really the time that I often reflect the whole year and see what I learned and what I'm looking forward to the next year but since I could not have a chance to do that, I thought I will share that with you right here. <laughs> Before I forget, please let me know if you have ideas or have questions or things that you want me to uh, create a video for my channel. Please let me know your ideas and input and feedback has really helped me to shape my channel so, so that I can serve you better in my channel as well. So 2020 was a um, very interesting year for everybody and for me as well as an artist and then as a person and it was not easy. As much as I am positive person, I remember at times that uh, it felt really dark, you know. And what I learned from 2020 is um, a lesson of resilience and when i felt that it was really dark and i learned to be gentle with myself even for daily practice and whatnot and i tried to find a repertoire that has no goals and just play for pure joy it takes a lot more breaks and when i feel down and feel um, negative and I accepted that is how it is and still uh, find some ways to find the joy on a daily basis. And at the end, I felt that is a definition of resilience and find the ways to uh, find myself <laughs> through difficult times. So I, I really felt like I exercised that muscle of resilience in this um, not this year because we are already 2021 uh, last year 2020 and really um, by doing it um, helped me to navigate maybe in the future challenges um, 2021 and more especially um, things didn't seem to be so positive especially with the performance and, and things so I learned um, taking a one day at a time be gentle with myself and find a joy within a daily day and still enjoy the process of creating music and find a joy of sharing uh, not a traditional way but still through some shape or form you know so I'm very grateful for that uh, 2020 also I learned um, the value of writing <laughs> uh, every day initially I plan to write anything something every day about thousand words um, and by doing it I really discovered that act of writing is creative process as much as uh, making music um, sharing music not that I it's important to share that writing but also just for my own um, discovery of myself and organize my thoughts and it's really liberated me <laughs> and find myself uh, looking in a mirror kind of way so I really enjoyed it much more than I thought I would um, obviously that process of writing ended up writing my first book uh, 2020 
which I, you will be hearing about is this year a lot. So I learned that I should keep writing, not only for purpose of sharing my thoughts um, with you, but more importantly, to discover myself, um, fine tuning my own thought processes. So that was big lessons that I learned in 2020. The new habit I formed is exercise the first thing in the morning. Uh, I usually used to go to gym um, several times a, a week, but since I couldn't go to gym, I ended up doing some workout at home. But um, since there's no uh, conflict of going to gym or not, I ended up doing a lot more consistent workout each day and um, I really like to start a day with a workout now. It really became my new habit and before I start my morning practice, I start my day with workout and it really kind of sets the day differently. Um, so I definitely want to keep up with that habit <laughs> in 2021 as well. What is a new habit that you formed in 2020 that you want to continue in 2021? So that was my reflection of 2020 and looking forward to um, continually asking why I do things and taking one day at a time, being gentle on myself. So I'm also very looking forward to um, this virtual recital that I'm going to have this coming Sunday at 2. <laughs> uh, this is first time that I tried this virtual concert format and even though it feels like it's a temporary thing but may maybe not maybe this is a kind of new way of creating concert mm, for nowadays <laughs> but just like this video I'm uh, sharing my thoughts or music through YouTube and the location it does not matter and I think hmm, this virtual recital idea is interesting uh, in a way that you know anyone can join it so i hope you can join me in the uh, concert and please share with me in the comment below what are the things that you learned 2020 uh, what is your one of the most proud moment in 2020 what are the new habits that you form in 2020 that you want to continue in 2021 and what are you looking forward to in this new year? So please share it with me and have some reflection moment <laughs> together. And let's uh, keep moving forward. I will see you next video. Thank you. Annyeong.